Hello everybody, Curious Corduroy here, and during this week's State of Play, Konami actually made a pretty cool announcement, and that was the announcement of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Kawabunga Collection. A collection of 13 Konami TMNT games, legendary <laughs> Konami TMNT games that are all coming back in one collection. And uh, the cool thing is there's 13 titles. 11 of these titles are actually gonna have their Japanese counterparts included, and there will be online functionality for some of these games. So let's go ahead and get into this press release and we'll find out some more information. So the first bit here, uh, it's actually gonna be multi-platform. So it's coming to PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, OG Xbox One, the Switch, as well as PC and Steam. Now, one of the things that's making people really happy is that it's actually not only gonna have a digital version, but it will in fact have a physical retail version that's going to be available sometime this year in 2022. Unfortunately, there's no firm release date just yet, but we do have a price point and it's $39.99. Now, $40 for 13 really awesome Turtles games is an absolute steal. This is something that I don't think anybody expected Konami to do. Uh, the fact that they're actually doing something pretty cool for once is really nice. And this was a collection we didn't think we would see due to a lot of licensing issues. I believe uh, Viacom and Nickelodeon are currently the rights holders in regards to TMNT as a brand, but this game will be put together by Digital Eclipse as well, who uh, are some pretty seasoned developers. So we got a pretty long list of titles here. I'm gonna try my best to get through them without tripping over my words, because <laughs> these are a mouthful. So we have the arcade edition of TMNT, we have the arcade edition of Turtles in Time, we have the Nintendo editions of TMNT, which is a pretty notorious game, TMNT 2, the arcade game, as well as the Manhattan Project and Tournament Fighters. And then on Super Nintendo, we have Turtles in Time, which is probably my favorite Turtles game ever. We have the uh, SNES version of Tournament Fighters. And then on Genesis, we have the Hyperstone Heist and Tournament Fighters. And then on Game Boy, we have Fall of the Foot Clan, Back from the Sewers, and Radical Rescue. Now, as I said earlier, 11 of these games will actually include the Japanese regional versions. Unfortunately, the arcade edition of Turtles in Time and Tournament Fighters on Nintendo won't have their Japanese versions included, but that's, I mean, <laughs> that's not that big of a problem. We're getting 11 titles that have the Japanese counterparts as well. Now here's the really big thing. It will come with some extra stuff like a, a museum that has never before seen art, sketches, and game design materials, but four of these titles will have online functionality included. That's TMNT Arcade, Turtles in Time Arcade, the Hyperstone Heist, and Tournament Fighters on Super Nintendo. These are all really exciting and intriguing, but Tournament Fighters being online, that's the one I'm actually most curious and excited about. Unfortunately, the Genesis version will not be online. I'm super partial to the Genesis version because that's the one I played most growing up. I actually still have a copy of the cartridge on Genesis. I remember our local grocery store had a, uh, a video department where they would rent movies and games. And for some reason they were getting rid of tournament fighters on Genesis and it was really, really cheap. I think less than five bucks and my mom let me get it. And to this day, I still have the cartridge. It's in pretty terrible shape because of the grocery store that rented it out, but I tried my best to clean it up and try and make it somewhat presentable, but uh, there's only so much you can do with these old cartridges these days. However, I'm really curious as to what features Tournament Fighters is gonna have. Will it have rollback netcode for smooth play? Will it have a lobby system? Will there be ranked matches or player matches? Are we gonna get replays? Uh, practice mode. Now, this might be asking too much since it's a pretty old game, but I'm hoping that there's at least a few robust features for tournament fighters, especially if we're going to be playing this online against other people. So that's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Kawabunga Collection. As someone who grew up with the Turtles in a lot of these games, it's really cool to see them come back, especially with the Japanese versions and online functionality for a few of the games. I'm incredibly excited to get it, and it's only 40 bucks, which is a pretty nice deal. 40 bucks, 13 great games, awesome. I would love to hear what you guys have to think in the comments below. Do you have a favorite game out of this collection? And uh, which one are you most excited for? For me, it's definitely gonna be SNES version of Tournament Fighters. I'm hoping we get some cool stuff, but you can leave all these thoughts in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next video. I am Curious Corduroy, and remember, be excellent to one another.